Uh, we were launched uh, once again with uh, information that a 17-year-old boy had fallen uh, 200 feet uh, off a cliff onto some rocks adjacent to the surf line uh, just in, in Washington State, a short uh, flight from our air station. Uh, the ready crew launched, consisting of myself and another pilot and a flight mechanic and a rescue swimmer. Uh, we arrived on scene in, uh, in a matter of minutes and uh, saw the, uh, the survivor, the 17-year-old uh, cliff fall uh, victim, and he was uh, conscious and talking on scene. There was a, a member of the local community who was part of a, a rescue team who had uh, rappelled via rope down to, uh, to assist the boy. Uh, we arrived on scene and assessed the uh, the conditions and determined that we'd have to conduct the hoist or the the rescue from uh, about 200 feet uh, altitude, which is about the height that the the boy had fallen from. So we deployed our rescue swimmer down to render assistance and conduct a, a medical assessment, which he did, and then he radioed back to us that he'd like uh, the litter, a Stokes litter, which we. Uh, subsequently sent down. Uh, he um, prepared the, the boy for hoisting, then we moved back in uh, into a position, uh, safe position for the helicopter and hoisted the boy from the, the rocks there adjacent to the surf line. Uh, it was a reasonably challenging hoist uh, given the proximity of the terrain and the height that we had to conduct the hoist from. Um, we recovered the boy and then, uh, and then backed off, uh, secured the cabin and then uh, moved in and recovered our rescue swimmer 